Tip number one. Ash is more effective at long ranges than every hero that isn't Hanzo or Widow. But too many players fight way too close to the enemy on Ash. They either stick with their main tank, which makes them an easy target to kill, or they take duels against heroes like McCree at short to mid range, a duel which obviously the hero better suited will win. So don't be a brawler. As Ash, you want long sight lines. Position somewhere behind your team where you can still see the enemy and avoid playing in their optimal range. You're a sniper, get away from the fist fight and pop some heads. However, if you're fighting a widow, don't be afraid to get close up. You don't want to be fighting a long distance duel against her because she's better at it. Tip number two. Ash isn't a hero that should stay in one place all the time. As Ash, it's very important to change your position often. Not only because it surprises enemies and allows you to get the first peek on them, but also because how Ash's ammo works. As she reloads one shot at a time, you need to set aside some time to reload. And the best time to reload is while you're repositioning. Generally, you want to be taking a few shots, and once the enemy is starting to pay attention to you, or your ammo is running low, you start repositioning and reloading at the same time. By doing this, you make the most of your time as Ash. You're either spending time shooting or getting into a better position. No more awkwardly reloading when standing out in the open. Tip number three. When using Bob, there are a few things to consider. First, Bob is often best placed deep into the enemy backline, creating a crossfire with your team. Don't worry too much about giving Bob a lot of cover as you want it to draw as much attention to himself as possible. And the deeper, the better. Bob's place at too shallow of an angle are easier for the enemy to hide from. Second, make sure your team can actually take advantage of the Bob. Don't just let them burn Bob and get some nice ult charge. If you're running a more brawly comp, you typically want to throw it just as your team is about to engage. On the other hand, if you're running a spammier comp, you want to make sure you get, they have LOS on Bob and can punish the enemy for focusing him. Finally, don't just throw the Bob blindly on point. Against comps that are bad at fighting on point, it can be a very effective play. It will draw multiple enemies to point and make space for your team. But against brawlier comps that are better on point, it's less effective. Instead, consider throwing Bob outside of point so that when they eventually contest the point, he puts a lot of range pressure on them that they can't address with their limited range. Note that Bob is better on more open points than points with obstacles in the center. Tip number four. Many Ash players don't throw dynamite off cooldown. Sure, it's a nice way of building your ult, but it's also a great team play tool. Dynamite actually does a quite a bit of damage, but it's not enough to get kills on its own. It's best used in combination with other abilities that bring it over the finish line. Use dynamite to follow up on your main tank. With Larissa, Try to take advantage of hulks to land fat dynamites. With Winston or Ball, use dynamite when they go in. As they soften players up, dynamite can easily secure kills when timed properly. But it's not just limited to your main tank. Consider saving dynamite to combine with alts like Grav or Flux. Or work with your other DPS to combine abilities together. And finally, dynamite is great for punishing big rotations. It's better to dynamite as the enemy is getting from point A to point B than when the enemy is stable and playing near cover.